The study focuses on the digital transformation of airside operations and is the second within a uh, digital transformation series that Frost and Sullivan have developed. Um, so we wanted to answer specific questions around uh, the digital transformation of airside operations and to better understand what the digital readiness is of airside operators within airports. Digital transformation is particularly important within uh, the, the airport sector. Um, the aviation industry is undergoing uh, a lot of changes at the moment and most notably within the airport environment we're seeing a significant increase in passenger numbers. Uh, in most cases airports are finding that they, they can't extend their, their uh, capacity um, which means that they have to deal uh, with more movements of people and assets uh, in a smaller space. They need to uh, develop more seamless communications uh, and more automated processes in order to be um, more efficient within their operation. Well, I mean, if we look at things purely from a, a, an air traffic growth perspective, uh, of course, it's really important to modernise the, uh, the tower and air traffic control. And we're seeing this through vast investments to, uh, for example, um, uh, remote ATC. Um, it's becoming a, quite a big investment area for airports at the moment, in particular those in the tier one category of airports, so those with the, the larger passenger numbers. Um, but within, within Gate and Apron, we're seeing investment across the board from, from airports. We're seeing that um, the development of uh, data capture uh, technologies is, is particularly important in this area uh, to create a more automated process at the gate. I, I think actually in terms of the challenges that airports face, a lot of them can actually be um, challenges relating to budgetary cycles. We need, to, we need to be clear that in terms of digital transformation rollout programs, these can take like four or five years upwards. And when you're dealing with annual budgets, uh, this can be a challenge to ensure that you, uh, you plan correctly. It's very important for airports to develop a digital transformation program within their operation, especially airports that um, are finding themselves being capacity constrained. And ultimately this is going to be the case for many airports in the future, especially if we see um, the reports by IATA in terms of increased passenger numbers. Um, it's important from a safety perspective, it's important from an environmental perspective, but it's also important from an efficiency perspective. Um, and efficiency gains within the airport uh, environment actually lead to passenger-centric business models as well, which ultimately lead to passenger satisfaction. And so it's really important to align the two together, that operational efficiency through the development of digital transformation programs will ultimately lead to a satisfied customer or passenger. Yeah, I think it's important for, for airport operators to uh, review the white paper. Uh, there's a number of insights in there which outline uh, what their peers are looking at in terms of uh, digital transformation programs. It outlines some of the key technologies uh, that many airports are looking to deploy over the next five years. Um, it also gives uh, a view and understanding of some of the key performance indicators that are being prioritised by airports. So it's important for airport operators to really uh, understand a little bit more about what their peers are up to and to get a better handle on, on, on some of the, uh, the key areas that they're concerned with uh, now and in the future.